Welcome back to my channel guys, Adrian here, back for another episode. Today we are gonna talk about Tesla's best feature, Sentry Mode. Let me tell you, the car has 9 total cameras all around it. One on the inside, and 8 on the outside. And all these cameras are not only used for autopilot and blind spots and auto lane changes, it's also used to keep your car secure. Let me show you all these 9 cameras, alright? First on the inside, we have one right here. Yep. We have two, one on each side for your lane changes. We have three, right? Three cameras on the front uh, behind the rear view mirror. And we have two, one on each side on the pillar of the car. And one in the rear camera. So Tesla uses all these cameras to watch over your car, to watch its surroundings when the vehicle is parked and locked. When an activity is detected, depending on the severity of the threats, whether it's a suspicious person lurking around your car or really just anything that any movement that your car detects, it's gonna show on your screen that the vehicle and its surrounding is being monitored. So the thief or anybody that is lurking around in the car will know that they're being watched. That's a great feature. There are three ways to activate sentry mode. First, let me activate it via voice command. Keep Tesla safe. All right. Activate sentry mode through the touchscreen. So from your touchscreen, you click on the car icon, which is your main menu, and then you go to locks. And once your menu pulls up, go to safety, right there. And from there, sentry mode. We hit the on button, and sentry mode is engaged and activated. From your phone, open the Tesla app, and you can scroll down to security and drivers and turn on sentry mode. As soon as you get sentry mode activated, there are three stages to it. Let me tell you. First is the standby mode. So the car's camera is just constantly working, patrolling the vehicle using all of its eight, nine cameras and just patrolling the vehicle, you know, it's just on standby mode. Now, when it detects activity, whether it's a person lurking around or a thief, a potential thief, interested in your car it's gonna go and enter into an alert mode now when it goes on the alert mode it's gonna show on the screen right on the screen right here it's gonna show that the vehicle is currently being monitored and watch out because you're on video and that's what it looks like i'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's on alert mode the car has an alarm mode. If there is a break-in or a force entry, meaning that, you know, the car was opened without your phone nearby or without the key card, and it was just simply opened by force, you know the car will start honking at a maximum volume and the all lights will flash, letting everybody aware that the car is being stolen. Makes it very difficult, if not impossible, to steal a Tesla. Show on your Tesla app on your phone if the car is on alarm mode when it's honking and beeping and the car is being stolen. If you have the Tesla premium connectivity, which cost, I believe, $6.99, um, is that you can view um, all of the things that are happening around your car live through your app on your phone. So definitely a good thing. Now let's say you just got back in your car after uh, visiting a friend, you know, at a party or after grocery shopping and the car was parked at the public parking lot for hours. And chances are you're gonna see footage and uh, clips of the sentry mode, that video that it captured. So let me show you how to access it. Um, on the bottom over here, you're gonna see this camera with dots. That means that the car is recording. So to access all of your footage, you go ahead and click on it. And that shows you currently um, live of what's going on in my car. On the left side, right side, rear, and front from my clips on my sentry mode. Right there. We got a staff walking by in front of the car. 
while it was parked in my car. Ah, so this is just a person walking by in front of the car, nothing alarming. Another one walking by. Ooh, look at him checking out my car. <laughs> ah, somebody's got flowers. Okay, okay. So really nothing suspicious. It's just videotaping the car surrounding, you know. I was obviously parked in a garage and it's just another car, another lady trying to get in the front passenger seat of her car. All right, so my car is parked at the employee lot where I work and you know, so it's a pretty open lot. I think I'm backed in. So you're looking at the front camera here and as we um, take a good look right here. Ah, okay. Just another working ca Hey, look at him. Take a look at him. He's just looking at the car, taking a look at like my spoiler, looking at my mud guards. I don't know, but this guy's just hanging out, standing around, looking at my car. He's not doing anything suspicious, so he's all right. He's just waiting for the bus to, to arrive to get to work. So, okay. Let's take a look and see if there's something suspicious about to happen. Uh, we got another lady parked next to me over here, you know, parking's a bit tight, but you know, I see that she just walked by the car. We were having too much fun looking at the footage of all of the videos and clips that the camera captured while I was away. So that's really cool feature of this car, guys. It's absolutely free. It uses all the nine cameras in the car. Well, eight, you know, it can capture all the outside. But even if somebody breaks in on the inside, you know, as I showed you, there is one camera right there that can capture a person's footage. Capture a thief's face in case they do break in in the car, uh, which by the time the alarm will go off. And that's something that is really um, valuable and very cool feature that allows your car to be safe. Your car always has um, eagle eyes, you know, it's patrolling every time that you are out. Now I have to tell you, if the vehicle's battery is 20% or less, sentry mode will automatically turn off. That way it does not drain your battery. Another thing that will disengage sentry mode is when dog mode or camp mode is activated. So just another thing to let you know. So you may be wondering where these video clips and footage is saved at. Let me show you. Open glove box. All right, guys, so inside of the glove box is this thumb drive right here. Tesla give you, gives you a thumb drive um, right there, plugged in. So that's where all of the footage of all the sentry mode clips is saved at automatically. So another quick tip, um, this red dot means that the video or the cameras are currently recording and to safely unplug the USB drive, um, you just go ahead and click on this button and it will pause the recording and you can safely just unplug the thumb drive. Right there. You can then plug this thumb drive onto your computer so you can view it on your desktop or save it on your computer, uh, which is really cool. A 128 gigabytes um, worth of flash drive storage. Let me plug this back in. There you go. At this point, I have talked enough about Tesla Sentry Mode, guys. I hope I have given you a brief overview and general knowledge of what Sentry Mode is, how useful all the nine cameras of my Tesla Model 3 uh, does for me when I am not around and the car is simply parked at a public place. Um, you have an option on the menu to disable sentry mode when you are at home or at your workplace uh, that way it's not on all the time because these are the places that are trusted that you're there all the time anyway um, you can turn that on or off um, if you do want you know sentry mode all the time it's going to consume your battery of course so that's the downside but you can program that to be on when you're at home or you can program that to be off when you are home which i think is a very good thing that it allows you to do that um, let me show you how. Uh, sentry mode is that it allows you to have a setting when to engage sentry mode. You could obviously just turn it off or on. Um, I have it turned off or exclude home because, you know, whenever I'm at home, I have it locked and parked in my garage. So 
nobody's gonna steal that you know i don't want it to consume battery while i'm sleeping as sentry mode does consume battery it does not consume a lot of it um i'm gonna blog about how much battery it consumes but i remember we were in hawaii and i parked this car uh for four days and my battery was from 95 percent down to like 72 percent uh, for the four days that we were there so it did consume about uh 23 percent of the battery for four days so just another um, info that i wanted to share with you guys we have talked enough about sentry mode um, i hope this is an insightful and informative video that you have gained knowledge from me um, if you like my video, as always, um, I would ask for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any questions, ideas, or comments, please ask me below on the comment section. And once again, this is Adrian. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate everyone for watching my video and have a wonderful and blessed day. Adrian out. Peace.